What's up, y'all? Happy Vlogtober day something, okay? 17, 18, 19, one of them. Y'all, so today we are going to be doing solos, you guys. So I decided I'm going to, I looked in the refrigerator, I ain't gonna lie. I saw we had a lot of taco stuff left, so I was like, let me do nachos. And then, shout out again to hashtag the cannon. I've been all over that channel, y'all. Okay, so I saw them doing some damn baked tacos. They look so good, you guys. I really want to try them. But since I'm doing nachos today, we're going to try baked nachos. So let's put it together. Tasha, I saw these in her back seat the other day, so I thought I would bring them in <laughs> and go ahead and use them. Hi, y'all. Well, why were they in your back seat? They, they was just saying that. Okay. Right. <laughs> so I'm gonna be mixing the blue corn and then some regular uh, tortilla chips, you guys. I have my pan ready. Here, you want the blue. Have you ever had these before? No. Okay, so first I'm gonna add some El Pato. Because I really love when you have nachos with enchilada sauce, so I'm trying to re recreate that that feel. I'm not gonna put too much because I really don't want them to. Since I'm piling up so much stuff, I don't wanna have it too soggy. So I do want a little bit of that drizzle. Next, I'm going to add some beans. Already hot and ready. I'm going to try to do this fast, y'all, because it needs to get in the oven and, and bake before it gets too mushy. I have nacho mush. I like beans more than meat <laughs> on nachos. Then I'm going to add my meat. Last thing I'm going to add before I throw it in the oven is some cheese, you guys. I have a feeling this is about to be by myself. FYI. Who does this? I generally just put the sauce and the cheese. I've never baked it with the meat and beans on there. So, it's going to be a little different. So, I'm going to pop it in the oven and let it cook. I set my oven to 375. I'm probably going to leave it in there for... 10 to 15 minutes. Once the cheese starts looking nice and bubbly, I'm gonna take it out. So while that's cooking, I'm gonna clean out all of my pans. Cause Tasha had to do a video next, so I want the kitchen ready for her. You hungry yet? Uh oh, uh oh, y'all. My favorite skillet once again. Okay, so now to set up my the rest of my presentation. I was trying to figure out how I was gonna have my toppings. So what I'm gonna do is put them in small containers and then I'll sit these on the edges of the pan, the nacho pan. I think that'll be cute. So we got tomatoes, lettuce. I meant to put these onions on there before I put it in the oven, but we'll just have fresh onions. Cucumbers, the new topping we love. And I guess I'll just sprinkle these on top before I start the video. So now I have to set up this area. Handy Twizzler box. This is probably seven years old. I'm just saying. <laughs> a couple of years old. I got some old ass uh, graham crackers in me. Got my questions ready. Yes. Babe was over there getting my content ready. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Light. And my mic. Alright. So from this view, this is what we got. I'm going to turn this light on because this gives us a lot of extra light here. Let's check on the nachos, y'all. Mm. So I'm gonna sit on topping this on the side. Mm. Let me try this olipop chopper. Come on, Tasha got me on olipop, y'all. So hopefully this one's good. And then I got sour cream, 
and some salsa over there. Oh no cards. Use what you got, people. Use what you got. So that's the whole setup, y'all. Later, we're going to be showing y'all. Not later. Just later. It's going to be later for us. But in two seconds, we're about to be showing Tasha setting up her solo. What's up, y'all? All right. So Stephanie wanted to record. She needed a longer vlog, y'all. So she had me <laughs> show y'all what I'm about to eat. Um, you recorded what you ate today, right? Yeah. All right. So I'm eating the seafood. I'm eating some crab. And um, some noodles and eggs, you guys. So, no carbs. No carbs. If you don't know that when I say I'm on a diet and I'm not doing carbs, it's a joke. I'm going to let you know now. It's, it's all a joke. I'm on no diet whatsoever except for the eat what I want to eat diet, but be conscious of whatever I choose to be conscious of. All right, so I'm lining this with foil because... I put my crab in the oven and um, I cook it on 354 about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna use, Stephanie made some crab the other night while I was asleep. <laughs> we were supposed to be standing up together, but I fell asleep. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna use the rest of hers. Oh, come on. Somebody said they love how I eat, but she was like, baby, when you eat crab, no thanks. Why? I don't eat crab good. What do you do? Oh, because you eat like, I it's hard for you to open them. I don't know how to open them, yeah. I know that for my, I get so annoyed when I'm trying to eat crab because I just Aww. can't, I was like a baby. This for you though. I'm going to try my best today, okay? I'm going to try so hard to eat this crab good. All right, so I'm going to rinse these off because I don't like this. I'm just a big, don't worry about me, y'all. Yes, Sasha is very serious about her clean crap. And then, you know what's whack, y'all? This is from Sizzle Fish, right? They got us um, spoiled with giving us nice, clean seafood. Now, I guess they don't have enough workers or something. They didn't have enough time to clean it. <laughs> yeah. They just like, here, they didn't even cut them like they used to. So I'm not gonna do it with whatever these little motherfuckers are. <laughs> Tasha can't stand that. No. Y'all see him? It's another animal. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Doo doo pieces get on my nerves. All right, so I gotta boil eggs first. This is only gonna take 15 minutes, so when the eggs are at a few minutes, at 15 minutes left, I'm gonna um, do that. All right, I learned from Stephanie, you guys. 15 minutes to boil eggs. I mean, 19 minutes to boil eggs. And they come out perfect, so. This got to go out because it smells like crab. Make sure when y'all making crab and all that, you throw out the trash immediately or your little house is going to smell like raw crab, which smells worse than fried fish because raw crab yeah, it's bad. Is, is bad. Like overnight? Like if you leave that shit till yeah. the next morning? Hell no. Nah. Yeah. Um, also, y'all, I'm going to make my favorite ramen, tonkatsu ramen, and I'm going to throw... Um, some of the three times spicy sauce in it. Not all of it. I just wanted to have this flavor, but with this spice. So, I'm gonna do that. It's gonna be hot. So that's it. I'm having crab, ramen, eggs. Um, I guess. Oh, I gotta make my sauce. So I'm gonna make the easy sauce that I like, which has garlic, lemon pepper, lemon, butter, and is that it? I like the red pepper flake. I'm about to put the crab in the oven. I um, accidentally took too long. It's only eight minutes left on the eggs, but it's fine. The eggs will still be nice and hot. Um, put 15 minutes on the microwave. And then um, let me make my sauce. So I have two sticks of butter. I'm making a little bit more sauce than I actually need, but it's all good. First, I'm gonna let the butter, this butter um, melt down and I'm gonna saute the garlic a little bit. I'll show y'all what I do. It's really simple, but it's also really good. 
So I'm really not about to wait till it all boils down. I mean, melts down. I'm just gonna put the garlic in now because girl, it don't even matter, okay? It doesn't. To me, it doesn't. Throw the other butter in. I have it on six, cause I'm trying to cook this fast. Well, I don't even know I have, I don't even have to cook it fast actually. I'm just doing something. I guess it's for the video. I don't have measurements because I'm not gonna measure it. I just don't. Just put some garlic salt in there. That seems like a good amount. Lemon pepper. That seems like a good amount. Because I really wanna taste the butter too. Now the red pepper, you know, I like my stuff hot, so that's a good amount. Throw some parsley in there for color. This parsley really looks like oregano or something. something. Put that in there. Freshly squeezed lemon juice. Uh, put that amount like that. I probably will add more, but I'm gonna taste it first. I'm gonna taste it now. See how I like it. Mm. It's very lemony. Um, I might throw a little bit more butter in it. It's great. It's really good. Um, I'm gonna throw a tiny bit, bit more butter just to take away. So it's tangy. So uh, the lemon was enough. The salt was enough. Just a little bit more butter. But that's it. So that's a little bit of butter, y'all. It's about half a um, stick. Cut, cut down the saltiness it's not too salty i promise you it's just the amount of salt plus the lemon just makes it kind of tangy i guess the lemon pepper so i like a little more butter flavor when i do this kind of sauce i might even throw some more red peppers in it because you know i like it hot i'm also gonna make some noodles i forgot to show you guys this part so i'm showing you now i'm also gonna make my noodles um i only put two and a half cups of water because i like my noodles firm and with no juice all right, y'all. See the water is boiling. I only put enough water for actually one pack of noodles because like I said, I like my noodles hard and I don't need all the water. Why waste water? You know we're going through a drought right now. Uh, God gave us a little bit of rain here in LA, but he gave us 20 minutes of sprinkles. I'm gonna throw the sauce right on, not the sauce, but the stuff right on here I'm not gonna use the whole two packets since I'm not um, using as much water it'll be too salty um, I'll probably use a half of it and I'll show you guys in a minute so now I'm gonna pour some of this water out you guys like most of it hopefully the noodles don't go in the sink too actually the water is really boiling off but yeah I guess I'm gonna pour some out before my noodles get too soft all right, so I think I left about a tablespoon of, and I'm gonna turn it down. I left about a tablespoon of water in here just so they don't burn. I'm kind of trying to stir fry them a little bit. Now, this is three times spicy, so much more spicy than the two times, so I'm not gonna put that much, hopefully. Uh, there we go. That's probably too much, but that's good. Throw on the rest away because I am very tempted to pour more in. This is going to be delicious. because I love The three times spicy tastes so much better than the two times to me it's just way too hot for human consumption um now i am gonna throw a little bit you know what let me taste it i think i'm gonna throw a little more of the sauce in you know what nope i'm not this is good enough all right y'all i'm ready to eat All right, y'all. I'm about to end the vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed watching the setup our solo mukbangs. We will see you tomorrow for another Vlogtober day. Vlog. Seventeen. <laughs> Something. Yeah. Peace.